The thing is, every successful person you know has failed at what they love to do before. Um, I've been unsuccessful uh, in my career. Uh, you just didn't know about it because I wasn't famous yet, and I was trying to be famous. I was trying to get a record deal for six years, and I kept getting uh, turned down. And any successful person you know, even though it seems like everything just happened for them, uh, it usually was preceded by a bunch of failure, uh, or at least a significant amount. But the great ones aren't the ones that don't fail. They're, they're the ones that learn from their failure, and they keep going, and they're persistent, and they're tenacious. And for me, uh, I was trying to get a record deal for, from 98 to 2004, and I got turned down by every major le record label, including the one I'm signed to now. And for me, that means that even when you hear no, you have to keep going through all those no's until you get to yes. And with learning something new, I think it's the same principle. When I was younger, I didn't really know that you could just get better at things, because I think we're so used to the idea that you're talented at something and, and uh, it's sort of fixed, you know? The idea that, oh, he's just a good singer, you know? And even with singing, I've gotten better at singing um, as I've gotten older. I wasn't singing in a way that was sustainable and uh, I wasn't breathing right, I wasn't doing a, a bunch of things correctly. I realized that there was a ceiling um, that I couldn't crack through unless I actually uh, studied and worked under a coach to get better. And uh, this idea that things are just fixed um, is proven not to be the case. You can get better at things, you can grow, and even people that are innately talented still need to go beyond uh, that basic talent that they have and, and cultivate it.